Hey everybody, thank you all for tuning in. My name is Sam, I am a superhero. I am a psychic medium, and that's what makes me a superhero. So go ahead and like the video and hit that subscribe button because we love superheroes over here. So today I'm talking about my alien encounter. Okay, so let's get into this. The incident took place about three or so years ago. I was home alone and it was the middle of the day. I remember it being bright, sunny, and hot outside. I was in the living room with both the TV on and my laptop open, but I just had the TV on for background noise as I wasn't really watching it. So at that time, my couches faced the staircase that led upstairs, and the TV was on a table just below the staircase. Now, to the right of the TV was a closet, and on the door of the closet was a coat rack. So as I'm listening to the TV, and looking at my laptop, I think I was checking out something on YouTube at the time. But anyways, this feeling came over me that I wasn't alone. And because I'm a psychic medium, I assumed that maybe it was a person who had passed over and they wanted to communicate with me, which I wasn't in the mood for at that time. So I ignored the feeling at first. And then I started uh, to feel like it wasn't a matter of who was staring at me it was more so a matter of what was staring at me and that made me uncomfortable as a lot of us know that the possibilities are endless so I closed my laptop up and I said straight up right if you have ever felt like something was gonna happen but you didn't know what that something was then you'll understand exactly how I felt in that moment so I kept trying to distract my mind were focused on what was on the screen. And then the stare turned into, I could feel whatever it was leering at me. And that was scary as hell. And even though it was, I decided to face my fears and look at it, whatever it was. So I turned my head to the right, which is where the closet door is, uh, with the coat rack that's on it. And I looked up right there in that area and that's where I felt, as that's where I felt all this energy coming from, right? And there it was. In some kind of human form that was almost, holo like it felt holographic in a way. So the physical look was somewhat human, somewhat holographic. It's kind of hard to describe. So it was a huge green head. Just the head, not a body. Just the head. So the skin was dark green and it had a texture to it. Humans don't have this te type of texture of skin. Uh, I don't know if I wanna say anything in the reptile family, but humans don't have this type of texture of skin, okay? Um, uh, let's see, the lips were very thin, almost like they didn't even look like lips. Well, it did, but so thin, just almost non-existent thin, right? The nose was so pointed that it had a sharp look to it. Um, the eyes were big, but not necessarily abnormally so. Uh, and it didn't have any eyebrows. However, the forehead put me in the mind of Megamind. And I'll insert some pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But anyways, there was no hair on its head. And based off of the facial features, it was male that looked to be 40 something. Like if we're talking about a human that looked around a certain age, it, the, it, that's what it looked like, a male that was over 40, okay? So um, the face overall was sharp looking. The features very sharp. The jawline was very defined. So when we made eye contact, I jumped a bit because I was startled and I immediately dropped my eyes and closed them, right? You know, have you ever seen something scary and you just instantly got shocked like, oh, don't look at that. <laughs> That's just kind of like how I felt in that moment, right? So <laughs> I dropped my eyes and I closed them. Then I looked back up again and it was still there. And it telepathically said, it's about time you noticed me. And there was the sarcasm in its voice. And its face wore a smirk, right? But its lips never parted. The tone of its voice was uh, very even-keeled. 
almost in an unnerving type of way. <laughs> and then it said, and now that I have your attention, there is something that I want to tell you. Now, something about its energy didn't feel safe. And it felt like the hairs of my arms were standing. So I knew that just because its outer disposition didn't seem threatening, that didn't mean that its intentions weren't bad. So I didn't want to hear whatever it wanted to say next because I didn't want to be stuck with it, right? Uh, and in this type of situation, nobody ever believes you. Like, unless you've experienced something similar, unless they've experienced something similar to what you have themselves, most people won't believe you if you tell them anyway. So I, whatever it was, I just did not want to know it because I didn't want to feel stuck with it. So I got up and I headed towards the front door to leave. And I could feel it staring at me in disappointment. Um, I was disappointed that I chose to leave instead of communicate, but I kept going anyways. And when I made it outside, it felt like I just come out of, it felt like I just come out of air that was thick. You know what? And that's interesting too, because a lot of times when I communicate with spirits who have passed on, there's something thick in the air. Um, when you talk to them and when the, the, the reading is over, you know, when you stop communicating with them, the air evens out. But there's something thick, something that makes the air thick. I don't know what that is. So that was interesting. But um, as I walked to my car, right, I was still in shock and in disbelief at what just happened. So I called my bestie, Planet High, but she was busy at work and couldn't talk. So I called my brother and then a good friend of mine at the time. And I told them what happened. And they were both almost speechless. Like, what do you even tell a loved one who's just experienced something like this? So... As I called each of them, my hands were still shaking. I, I couldn't even go back in the house until the rest of my family was home that day. And when they were, it was as if everything was back to normal. But since that incident, I have felt the presence of that alien around me a time or two, but it hasn't physically manifested itself again. Um, and it's interesting that it only manifested its head, like, I didn't get to see the rest of the body. All I saw was a huge head. So anyways, you guys, that's my testimony. If you or anyone you know has ever experienced something similar, please share it down in the comment section down below. My contact information is in the description box if you want to reach out to me. And until next time, remember, anybody can be a superhero, even you.